Joe, pretty similar question to Nick. How enjoyable was that? Yeah, it was very enjoyable, um, especially when you win. Games like that, it's all about defending for what, 60 minutes and, and we did, we, we've been doing it fantastic and we kept it up tonight as well. What was the game plan to get the game started and just run and ragged for 20 minutes? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that's the game plan for every game is to start bright and we've been doing it as recently and I think that's like we've been reaping the rewards of doing that, so yeah. Is it, is it difficult on a pitch like that to you know, come at like a steam um, train? It is at times, but we've, we've, I think we've, most of us have got used to it. You know, obviously it's still a bit new to me, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's um, yeah, like we're all, we're all getting used to it and can make this a fortress from now to the end of the season. And you know, nights like 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 tonight will we'll go a long way in that. Did this run that you're on now? Could, could, how much of that can we put down to Carrington and all the facilities there? Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think we can put it a lot down to that, and we owe a lot to the chairman and manager for getting it done. Um, you know, but we're players. We just want to play football. I think if you put us on a park, we'll we'll go and still play football. You know what I mean? Mm. That's my attitude towards it. I mean, the facilities are just a bonus, and you know, it's uh, you know, it's fantastic to train there day in day out. You, you've come from fairly decent training ground anyway yeah. at Bolton. Mm. How does this one compare? Yeah, it's it's miles better to be honest with you. I mean, what is it? Six months ago, Man City was training there. So, I mean, it just just shows that the. the um, the desire of the football club really to, to get to get a facility like that. You can see it every time you walk in there last year that they were the Premier League champions off that training ground. Yeah, I mean and that's that's something that we've we've got to achieve as well. We've got to achieve yeah, I mean I mean it might might be a step too far, we've got to take it game by game, but we want to be champions as well. So I mean and we want to achieve promotion and we've got to strive for the best. Oxford, I gather you know a little bit about Oxford. I do a bit, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um it's a game I've, I probably looked at when I first came in. Was, was really looking forward to it. It'd be nice to see some faces that are, that was down there. But you know, the main thing is the three points, and we win the game. Is, is it all the focus, isn't it? Just yeah. That? I mean, come Saturday at three o'clock, it'll be no friends in terms of me. So you know, I just want to get the win. Did you ever come close to signing for Oxford while you were there? Um, there was there was discussions, but you know, when when Berry have got. You know that the, the hopes and desires that they've got. It was you know tied me in straight away, and I live what five ten minutes away, so it's it's a fairly yeah. easy decision. I was going to say no regrets. I should imagine for for signing for Bury. Oh, no, no. I mean, did you have any sort of idea about the training ground and what was going to happen in the um, future? When I, when I did meet the manager, he said there was something big in the pipeline, and to be honest, I think that that ex exceeded that expectation. To be honest with you, but you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm thrilled to sign there. To be honest with you. And, uh, and with regards to what's happened since you've been here, um, you seem to have found your feet. And um, yeah. I mean, the back the back line is really coming together now. It's been it? really easy to settle in, to be honest with you. I mean, the lads have made like it's a bit cliche, but the lads have made me feel really welcome. Um, I think that's showing in, in performances. There's still a long way to go for me yet. I think I can get a lot better. Um, you know, like I say, I'm still finding my feet, but you know, I'm feeling really comfortable there. And we were just talking to Nick then about you know. I think the manager said he had a decision to make being on loan at Barry, but he was he's basically saying that you know you can get promotion. He'd love to stay. Yeah. Um, I mean, what would you say to someone like like Nick um, in your career? What advice could you give him about how to make the decision? It's playing. I had two two years, three years at Bolton where I was waiting for a chance, never got it, and yeah, you can't you can't do that in your career. And I think he's at a place now where he's loved and he's he's really wanted, and that's a hard thing to find in football at times. So. No, I think you know it's it's up to him, but it's a decision that I think he's got to think hard and hard and long about, yeah. And, and with with regards to that, I mean, um, there's no givens in this game, and now you're still quite a few games away from the possibility of promotion. But do you think it's a sort of backline that could do well at a, at a level higher? Yeah, definitely. Um, when I when I seen the squad as soon as I came in, when I went back uh, to Oxford, you know, we were all looking at Berry and thinking they've got a, you know a very strong squad this year. But, since I've come here, I've seen that day in day out with some of the players, and I think it's players that can definitely stay, make the step up. You know, I've been at a Championship club, and some of the players here aren't, aren't a long way away from from the lads at Bolton. So, so, you know, I think I think we can definitely make the step up. Yeah. Okay. Right, cheers.